Welcome back to Children's Time. Remember last time we were just beginning on the book of Joshua. Joshua, if you remember, is now the new leader of the Israelites' people. He was learning and helping Moses throughout the whole time when the Israelites were going through the wilderness. Just like Moses, Joshua is sending spies to go check out the promised land, especially the city of Jericho, a city with big, strong walls around it. Now, there's something special about our story this week. In case you just thought that all these stories that we're gonna read from the Bible are about men, well, there's a special lady that we're gonna meet in our story today. Now, Joshua told the spies to go check out the land. In the city of Jericho, there lived a lady named Rahab. Rahab lived in the house close to the city wall. Now, we may not know a whole lot about Rahab, but we did read that she didn't really make good choices in her life, and she was definitely not an Israelite. The spies tiptoed into the city and started to look around. And Rahab saw them. <gasps> and the spies were thinking, oh no, God run. Rahab said, no, you're welcome to come to my home. Hmm, the spies thought. Now Rahab welcomed the spies into her home, but the king of Jericho found out. How? I don't know, but he sent soldiers to catch them. He probably didn't like the enemies spying around in his city. Now the soldiers are at the door. What are they going to do? Rahab hid the spies under some flax on the rooftop of her house. Then she went to meet the soldiers and she said, uh, they went that way, uh, or that way, uh, close to the city gate. You should go after them. So the soldiers went off quickly to the city gate, trying to find the spies and the city gate slammed shut right behind them. The city was locked. Now it was nighttime and Rahab told the spies. She has heard of all the things that the Israelites has gone through in the wilderness and how God brought them out of Egypt. She told the spies that she trusted in God. Hmm, that's very odd. Let's read Joshua 2, 8 to 11. Here's what she said. Rahab went up to the roof before the spies settled down for the night. She said to them, I know that the Lord has given this land to you. We are very much afraid of you. Everyone who lives in this country is weak with fear because of you. We've heard how the Lord dried up the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. We've heard what you did to Sihon and Og, the two Amorite kings. They ruled east of the Jordan River. You completely destroyed them. When we heard about it, our hearts melted away in fear. Because of you, we aren't brave anymore. The Lord your God is the God who rules over heaven above and earth below. Now, I said odd because Rahab wasn't an Israelite, she wasn't part of God's people that was coming out of Egypt. She only heard of the story, but yet she truly trusted that this God was real and powerful. God can work in and through people that we don't expect him to do. People that we think probably will not follow God, who probably won't love him, sometimes turns out to be right exactly the opposite. Rahab made a promise with the spies that when they do attack the city, that her and her family would be kept safe. The spies told God's plan for the Israelites to come to Jericho. They told her if she placed a red rope down her window, then when they do come to the city, that they will know that this is the house of Rahab and they will not harm her and her family. Then Rahab let the spies down her window and helped them escape and went back to the Israelites to report what has happened. So what does this story tell us? God worked through Rahab to help the spies and at the end to help the Israelites. Rahab wasn't someone that we would think that God would use, but he did. God can work through and in people that we don't expect him to. So what does this mean for you and me? Well, boys and girls, God can work in you and through you even when other people might think you're too little to do anything for God. Remember, our God can use people that we don't expect him to. God can use people that we think are quite unlikely to follow him or to believe him. God can change people's hearts and he turns people's hearts towards himself. What, what was that, Turtle? Oh, he said it's question time. It's question time on the book of Joshua. How many spies did Joshua send to Jericho? 10, 20, or two? How did Rahab help the spies? She hit them in the rooftop area under some flax. She covered them with a blanket. 
she hit them in the manger. Why did she hide the spies? She wanted money from them? She was nice. She knew their God was powerful. What could have happened to Rahab if the soldiers found the spies in her house? Lose her home, be thrown in jail, or harmed by the soldiers? All possible! She trusted God even if it meant taking a big risk on her own life. What was the agreement that Rahab made with the spies? The spies will bring her money. Her family and her will be kept safe by letting down a red rope down her window. She will be their new leader. Rahab was not an Israelite. She hasn't even seen any of the powerful things God did. But when she heard of how God brought his people out of Egypt, she knew for sure that this God is real and powerful. Do you know anyone that was unlikely to believe in Jesus, and yet they did? What was their story like? Our verse today. Let's read with me. Remember that I commanded you to be strong and brave. So don't be afraid. The Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1.9 You think you can try this? Well, thanks for joining me in this week, and I'll see you.